What's goody? We back. It's the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know what it is. Early morning grind. Uh, we back talking that real boxing ish. And yes, I did catch what Danny Garcia said. He was ready to take on Sean Porter after a year of uh, ducking and dodging uh, Sean Porter. You know, uh, Craig and Dede, you've been ducking and dodging me for the longest. <laughs> and that's what Danny Garcia has been doing, though. But time is right. Danny Garcia only won the fight for his title, not an interim title. And um, not him and Sean Porter. You know, he's he's actually rebuttal to Sean Porter's call out. Several call outs and he's ready. He said he's ready right now to fight. And I know he's been working. I know Sean been working. So this fight shouldn't happen September fallish, September October. This fight should be happening um, in July, but it it also determine it's all it's also other things to hash out. As far as do they have a TV spot for this fight in the summer? Probably not. Do they have a venue for it? Probably not. It don't sound like so they still hashing out you know those things. But at the end of the day, um, I just want to hear a, a commitment to trying to fight Earl Spence, you know, in the near future. You know, it don't got to be next. You know, because Keith Thurman is going to come back in the summer. So he got a fight date already. So, you know, Robert Jr. Mikey Garcia got a July 28th date. Broner going to have a summer date in August. He coming back in August. So it's a kind of jam-packed. So, you know, it's probably out their hands. They can be physically ready and physically fit. But they're not going to come back to about September. You know, they ain't going to fight to September. And Sean Porter better not use an excuse because that almost be a full calendar year before he's fought last. You know, so he basically wanted to hold out until he get his title shot. So you got what you wanted, man. So ain't no excuses. Am I excited about this fight? Absolutely, I like the fight. And I was talking about the boycott for the fight as well, too, if they don't commit to fighting Earl Spence in the near future. But it's a hell of a fight. You know, it should be dubbed the, the Cowards. You know, or or, or DuckTales, or, or Daffy Duck, or Quack Quack, or Mighty, or Little Mighty Ducks. You know, because they are ducking Earl Spence, but if we can get past that, you know, um, we Gucci. You know, um, it's going to be a good fight, stylistic-wise. You got the uh, the fullback size linebacker, Sean Porter. You know, that's aggressive. I, I can't stand watching Sean Porter fight. It's the, one of the most horrible scenes in boxing. I mean, him and Eric Snotty Lara, you know, fighting, you know, just, it turns me off. You know, not the last Lara fight with her. That was a good fight. But Sean Porter's full back and rough house, roundhouse elbow style, I just can't get with it, you know. Um, you know, especially in certain fights. But if it's the Barclays Center, it's the Barclays Center. But what I, I just researched, and I'm going to just put this, this nugget out there. I might do a video tomorrow. It depends how my day looks tomorrow, which it should be pretty open. Um, I might just sit back and play some Call of Duty for the day because um, my daughter and my girl, they going to a swim party. Um so I'll just sit back and probably chill tomorrow, um, you know, Mother's Day, Sunday, um, and then just chop videos up all day and just, you know, deal on chill, because uh, Deadpool don't come out to next week, but I just found out that Earl Spence did 12,000 and whatever uh, in attendance at the Barclays Center versus Lamont Peterson. You know, he did 12,000 plus. So Eddie Hearn and, and Danny Jacobs couldn't even, it did 5,000 less, about a guesstimated 5,000 less than Earl Spence did. And Earl Spence is a guy that's from Texas. He came up to Brooklyn, New York, even though his birthplace is in New York, it don't matter. He not, he's, most people associate him with Dallas because he moved so young. And he did numbers like that. So it'll be interesting to see the numbers that Danny Garcia and Sean Porter do at the Barclays Center. You know, somebody said in my, in my live stream today, the reason Eddie Hearn isn't targeting Sean Porter is because Sean Porter isn't a draw. And I can't, di I can't disagree with him. You know, that's probably a factual statement. And most boxing fans will, will say that because this style does turn people off. And, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it's gonna be it's nice seeing what, it's going to be interesting seeing what numbers they do at the Barclays Center. Very, very interesting. But like I said, Danny said he's ready right now. He said he want to try to bring the fight to Philly, which won't happen. But he is the A-side, and Sean Porter has acknowledged that. So it's probably going to be at the Barclays Center. I would like to see Danny Garcia get a shot at, get a fight at Philly, uh, in Philly. Um, you know, but like I said, man, it's, 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 it's starting to take notice that 
that people are wrongfully saying that what's the welterweight division is one of the most excited divisions in boxing. Because you only can be exciting division if your top fighters fight each other, and that's not happening. So people starting to take notice of that. Oh, these these niggas ain't fighting. Yeah, they ain't fighting. You know, Al Hammond can't make them fight. At least he's not willing to. But you know, this is gonna be another fight, another great fight. And we was on the live stream earlier, which I didn't get a chance to do another one. I don't believe I took a nap. We was on the live stream earlier, and you know, people say, "Oh, PBC is crap." But I said, who are giving you the best fights right now? You know? Everybody said PBC. So you can shit on people, Premier Boxing Champions all you want to. But they giving you the best fights right now. And this is another uh, banger right here. You know, Robert Street, Mikey Garcia. Even though it wasn't a fight that would have been, you know, earlier this year. But it's a banger. Then you have Broner coming back. Then you got Keith Thurman coming back. You know, those, those, those are probably going to be highly rated fights. And... And highly uh, coveted tickets as well, too. You know, when people will talk to you and tell you this and that, will be like, well, the UK is this. The UK ain't shit. Like I said earlier, they they, they in their own mind, you know. That's basically like you being the, uh, that's basically like you being in the classroom, you know, full of, full of, uh, ugly girls. And, and it's just, and one girl is just the best looking ugly girl, so she just, she the better looking one, so she kind of stand out a little bit more. But when she, you know, walk out into the regular school population, she just another ugly girl. That's the UK. It's just an ugly girl, you know. But it's but it's it, but it's an ugly girl that that's that look good in their own home country. It look like it's a great box community. They fans support it, but at the end of the day, they fans are not paying what our fans are paying for. Twenty dollar pay per view, sixty, seventy, eighty dollar pay per views. Ticket sales, why they ain't break no live gate record if they t they, they fill in 80, 90,000 seats arenas? And why does Vegas consistently break live gate records? Canelo, Triple G, Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. Pac uh, Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. So those are all questions you got to ask. You know, but that's a conversation for another day. Um, Danny and Sean should be a good matchup. Obviously, I've been on several, uh, been on record several times saying I favor Danny Garcia in his fight. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Sean Porter's style, but I'm a big supporter of his relationship with his dad, and um, um, I'm a big supporter of what he represents as far as personality-wise, a down-to-earth, humble, a black slugger. Um, but I can't, I can't stand his fighting style, though. I really can't. But it's gonna be a good fight, you know. I will tell you that that's gonna be a tough fight to boycott. You know, it's easy for me to boycott Vonis Macherosian. Versus Triple G because that was some bullshit. And that fight only sold 6,000 tickets. So Big Drama Show wasn't a big draw, huh? You know? But the truth hurts. We'll see what go down. I, I definitely give Sean Porter a shot at beating Danny Garcia. I'm not, I'm not saying this is a mismatch by any means. I definitely give him a good shot at doing it. But you now who more likely to get in the ring with Earl Spence? Neither one of them. You know, I don't I don't really foresee that fight happening in the near future. Even 2019 looked bleak. Um, I think still the, our best bet is for Keith Thurman to come back and whoop the winner of this fight at the end of the year, at the top of next year. And I think he's our best bet to go ahead and fight Earl Spence. And that sounds funny how he's looking and all the entries, but I think that's the best route we gone.